How does 5G work and what can it do? In this video, we'll be exploring the 5G network and its applications to everyday life. So let's get started. 5G connects us in similar ways to previous networks. When a device turns on or moves location, the device sends a request to a mast via radio to ask for access to the network. The mast then passes on the request to the core network through fibre optics, cable or satellite. The core runs security and identification checks to confirm you are who you say you are and whether you have enough credit slash data to fulfil the request. If all is well, the network then sends a message back to the mast saying it's OK to connect, which in turn provides signal for the device. And all of this happens in around 10 milliseconds. To make a call or access the internet, the flow of information is nearly the same. Except for this time, the core network passes the request onto an extra link in the chain. The internet, if the request is fulfilled, transfers data back to the device the other way. So how is 5G different to other networks? 5G connects far more than just phones and tablets. It connects things rather than people. 2G enabled voice calls. 3G enabled access to the internet for functions such as email and web browsing. 4G had a higher download speed and lower latency than previous generations, enabling video streaming and multiplayer gaming on handheld devices. 5G, the fifth generation network, is capable of all this with the added benefits of instant response and huge data for connecting devices like autonomous vehicles and drones. A key feature of 5G is the ability to slice the network, giving certain users a priority channel over others. This can be used in a case of a large festival, for example, by giving emergency services priority over the general public. There are three categories of 5G. The first is EMBB, which stands for Enhanced Mobile Broadband. EMBB concerns the transfer of data, which is gigabytes a second. This allows for streaming of Ultra HD video, for example. MMTC stands for Massive Machine to Compute. MMTC connects things to things. For example, autonomous vehicles will soon be able to connect and communicate to one another using 5G. URLLC is Ultra Reliable Low Latency Comms. URLLC is about response time, also known as latency, which was about 40 to 60 milliseconds for 4G, but is less than 10 milliseconds for 5G. There are many spectrum bands within 5G. The higher the frequency of the band, the lower the latency. The lower the latency, the shorter the distance the waves travel, meaning faster data speeds. At the Catapults 5G Centre, we focus on the 3.5 GHz and 700 MHz bands. Because 3.5 GHz is a mid-band frequency, it provides a good mix of coverage and quality and is ideal for urban areas. 3.5 GHz has therefore been widely used for initial 5G rollout. 700 MHz is a low-band frequency, meaning the signal will go further, and is being used for wide area coverage such as rural and coastal areas. The 5G Rural Dorset project is currently trialling smart infrastructure that will improve beach and coastal safety. The world's first 5G-ready agriculture robot for analysing crops is being created as part of the Rural Dorset project, whilst the project is also using 5G to connect cows to help farmers monitor the health of their livestock. Similarly, for aquaculture, the project is exploring 5G underwater monitoring systems that enable farmers to make decisions on water quality for growing seaweed and shellfish. 5G also has applications in emergency services and remote healthcare and can create fully immersive virtual and augmented realities. 5G is set to change the world as we know it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.